When we subtract using the algorithm, we have to make sure we understand the horizontal subtraction first. If we have a question of 62 take away 31, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 62, and we take away 31, we'll write it like this. 62 take away 30, 10, 20, 30, leaving us with 32. Then we take the 32 again and we subtract the one that's here. We can just simply cover the one here. How many are left? 10, 20, 30, 1. And we write it like that. If we're going to write the same question in the algorithm, vertical, we can look at it like this. So 62 take away 31. 2 take away 1 leaves us with 1 here. And 60 take away 30 leaves us with 30 left. And you see 31 here and 31 there. It's the same answer. But what happens if we need to borrow from a 10, such as a question like this, 62 take away 34. So we would do the same thing as before. 62 take away 30 is 32 left over. And then we take the 32 and we subtract 4. So we need to take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we would hide two of those. And how many are left? 20. 8, 10, 20, 28. We can see that there. So how about if we wrote the same question vertical? 62 take away 34. What happens now? Well, we start with the 2. 2 take away 4. So we need to take away the 2, but we need to take away 2 more. So to take two more, we need to borrow this 10, making this the number 12. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the 60 and borrow the 10, leaving 50. So how we write that is the 60 now becomes 50 with an invisible zero there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the 10 is given to the 2 to create 12. Now we go 12, take away 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, leaving 8 left, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now we know we have 8 left over there, and we have here 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We've written the 50 up here. Take away 30, 10, 20, 30, and we have 20 left over here. So 28, you can see the answer is still the same. It's just we do it slightly differently, only the result is the same.